So uh, this Shabbos is a Mavorchim Chodesh Elul. We all know that Rabbi Yisrael Salanta writes that Milafonim, Kasher Yodati, Kol Ish Achazosoy Palotus, Mikoil Hakore Elul. That when uh, Yidin heard the Shliach Tzibur announced that uh, Rish Chodesh Elul will be on this or that day, they were already trembling. Uh, from the Amos Adin, that was enough to get into the spirit of Elul. So I mean to say this year that we have an entire week from uh, the Mavarchim HaChodesh until Rosh Chodesh Elul, we have, uh, we're being granted some extra time for uh, ushering in the, 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 the spirit of, of Elul. It's, it's noteworthy that you know, the, the, this is also connected with this week's parasha because the Mishnah says that Rosh uh, Hashanah, that Echot B'Tishrei is one of the uh, four Rosh Hashanim. The Gemara says that it's the, the Echot B'Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah Ledin. The Gemara says in Rosh Hashanah Davches. Now, uh, where does this come from? There's no lechayr and teresh b'ksav. All it says is that uh, the rishon lachaydish ashvi is a yom trua. From where do we get that it's a yom ha'din? Rosh Hashanah l'shonim that it's a l'din. So the um, Reb Nachman by Yitzchok says that it's learned from the pasuk of Ene Hashem Eloikecha Ba Me Reishis Hashana Ad Achris Shana, which we say that the Reishis Hashana. The year is Nidoim Maya Hei Besoifo. So the source for Rosh for the Echad B'Tishrei being, being the Yoim Adin is in this week's parsha Mereshis Hashono Ad Achris Shono. So where do we begin? Where do we begin? Besides for the fact that the B'Derech Kal, unfortunately, we we were like uncomfortable with the whole topic of Tshuva, and therefore we try to push it off. Uh, push it out of our minds and uh, push it off as much as we can. But uh, truth be, be told, that the uh, tshuva is a is a very positive thing. And uh, the question is, where do we begin? So you know, Moshe Rabbeinu says in this week's parish of Ato Yisrael, Mo Hashem Eloikecho Shoyel Me Imoch Kiim Liyiras Hashem Eloikecho Leleches Bechol Drocha V'Lavo Yisrael V'Lavo Yisrael Hashem Eloikecho Bechol Levavecho U'Bechol Nafshecho. So the Pasik begins with the words, Va'ata Yisroel, and now, Yidin. In Parshas Bereshis, after the Chet Eitz Hadas, the Pasik says, Va'yoyma Hashem Eloikim, Hein Ha'odom, Hoyo, Ka'achad Mimenu Lodaz Toi Vora, Va'ato, Pen Yishlach Yodoi Velokah Gam Eitz Ha'chaim, Va'ochal V'chai Lo'oyma. So Va'ata, this Pasik is a, very mysterious Pusik, and we have uh, not much understanding of what this Pusik is saying, but uh, the Pusik uses this word, Va'ato, and now, Pen Yishlach Yodoi Velokach Gami Eitzachai. So the Medrash Rabbe over there says, Va'ato, Pen Yishlach Yodoi. And now maybe he'll uh, stretch out his hand and he'll take from the Eitzachai. Omer of Abba Barkahana Malame. That the word va'ato teaches us she pasach lo yakodesh baruch hu pesach shel tshuva that the rabbi shalom opened for him a, a, a door to tshuva va'ato ein va'ato elo tshuva that va'ato and now that means tshuva shenemar va'ato yisrael mo hashem alikech hashoyel meimoch so the medrash is learning exer shava. That Va'ato Pen Yishlach Yodo is learned by Gzeir Shover from Va'ato Yisroel Mo Hashem Aleikecho Shoel Meimoch. And uh, just like in our parsha, Va'ato is a lotion of Tshuva. So also over there, Va'ato Pen Yishlach Yodo is a lotion of Tshuva. So, first of all, we don't know from where does the Medrash get that the Va'ato in our Posik has the meaning of tshuva. I mean, the Posik says, Va'ato Yisroel, and now Yisroel. Mo Hashem Eloikecho Shoyom Me'imoch. Ki im le'yiro Hashem Eloikecho. Lo'leches b'chol drocho, v'la'avaz Hashem Eloikecho. 
but uh, there's no remez that it's talking about tshuva, that we should learn from here to there that va'ato is a lotion of tshuva. But even more so, I mean, va'ato means and now. We normally perceive tshuva as something that's all about not the now. Tshuva is about correcting the past, about creating a better future. I mean, the, 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 the now is like in between the charote al ha'ovar and the uh, kabola al ha'osid. So really the now doesn't seem to have any place or for sure not any particular place in the Indian of tshuva. So what does it mean that va'ato is tshuva? Now is tshuva. And we're learning it from our parashat, the parashat's bereshis, that just like va'ato Yisrael, mo'ashem lekech ha'shel mi'imach is about tshuva, so also va'ato pen yishlach yodai is the Rebbein Shalom opening for other marishan a Pesach shel tshuva. So it would seem that the, the, this is based on what Rashi says on the Pasik, Va'ato Yisroel, Mo'ashem Alekech Hoshoyom Le'imoch, Rashi says, Va'ato Yisroel, Afal pi she'asisem kol zois. In other words, this Pasik is coming on the heels of the discussion of the Chei Egel, which is uh, talked about in the previous Pesukim. And now Moshe Rabbeinu says, Va'ato, and now Mo'ashem Alekech Hoshoyom Le'imoch. Rashi says, Afal Pisha Sisem Kol Zois Oidenu Rachamov Vichibosoy Alechem. He still has mercy and he still uh, has Chiba towards you. Umikol Mashechatosem Enoi Shoyel Mikem Ki Imli Yira. And uh, regardless of what you already did, regardless of how much you messed up, what he's asking from you now is ki im liyira, because rachamov v'chibosi aleichem. So, you know, the sinner obviously feels that the relationship with the Rabbi Shalom is broken. He feels outside. He feels uh, unwanted. And so the first thing that he needs to know is uh, that even va'ato, even now, meaning in spite of the past, in spite of the Chet HaEgel, Va'ato, still, Adayin, Racham HaVachibosei Aleichem, Afal Pisha Asisim Kol Zois, and that's the Pesach Shel Shuvah. That's the opening for Shuvah, because if a person feels like an outsider, if a person feels disconnected, if a person doesn't feel that he's in a relationship with the Rabbi Nishalom, so uh, he uh, has no way to come back. So he needs to know that Oidenu, Rachamov v'chibosoy aleichem. Now, the va'ato pen yishlach yodoy. So if you look in the, on the side of the Medrash Shabbat in, in Bereshis, uh, Pasha of Aleph, he brings from the Shlach Kodesh that what's the meaning of this posseg? Va'ato pen yishlach yodoy and he'll eat from the Eitz HaChayim v'chay la'olam. So what's the problem? What's, uh, why does that have to be preempted? So the Shlach Kodesh says, that Shakodesh Baruch Hu also lay tikkun, she is dachech choy moroi al yedei misa. That being that other Mauritian ate from the eight sadas, so he needs a tikkun. And that tikkun is the zichuch of the choymer, the purification of the choymer of the Adam. And lochein gir shoy mi ganeiden, she yeloi tikkun. In other words, the girush from ganeiden. In, in order that he shouldn't eat from the Eitz HaChayim V'chay La'olam, is in order that death will be his tikkun. So, Bem is Leva'ato, in that context, is also saying the th- same thing, that HaKadosh Baruch is Pesach Le Pesach Shel Tshuva, because if man would be V'chay La'olam, then he wouldn't be able to have a tikkun. So it again expresses the idea of Oidenu Rachamov V'chibosoy Aleichem. The Rebbe Yishlam still cares about man and still wants his tikkun. And therefore he's Megarishim from Gan Eden in order that he shouldn't be V'chai Lo'olam, in order that he should be able to have a tikkun. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu still cares. Now the challenge that a sinner has to overcome is the natural 
inclination that we have uh, to live in the past. I mean, to define ourselves based on the past. Now, it's true that the past needs correction. And shuva is how the past is corrected. But the Pesach Shul Shuvah, the opening, is the Va'ata, is the now and here. First of all, you have to open a new page. Shuva is not about living in the past. It's about establishing a present and then, and then correcting the past. But it all begins with the Va'ata. It's a fascinating Yerushalmi in the end of Masech Tispeya that says, Rabbi Yochanan V'Resh Lokish, Aloin Mishon, they were entering the baths of Tveria. So bathe in the Chame Tveria. Poga boin chad miskein. An unfortunate, uh, seemingly needy person uh, met them. And he said, bi. He said to them, Be zoiche in me. Meaning, uh, you'll give me tzedakah, you'll have a mitzvah, you'll have a schus. Kind of an interesting way of asking for a donation. He said, Zechoin bi. So, Amru lay mi chazrun. They said, when we'll come out of the bath, we'll take care of you. Ki chazrun, when they came out of the bath, ashkechune mis, they found him dead. So, he passed out in between. Amru. So, what was their response? What was the response of Rabbi Yechon Rish Lakish? Amru, hoyel veloi zechinen bei bechayof. Since we were in Zoyche, in him, during his lifetime. In other words, we didn't give him tzedakah when he was alive. We were in Zoyche to give him tzedakah when he was alive. Netapel bei bemisusa. Let's be metapel with him as a, as a mess. Let's bury him. He metapelun bei, as they were being metapel with his kvura. Ashkechun, kiss, dinin, tolibay. They found on his begodim a whole uh, purse of dinrim. He wasn't poor at all. It turned out that he was uh, just pretending to be poor. He didn't really need the money. And uh, they weren't the cause of his death. I mean, so we know the end of the story, but it's 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 amazing what, what was going through the mind of Rabbi Yechen Rish What kind of response is it? Hoyl, veloy zechinim bey bechaye. In other words, we would think, I mean, such a terrible tragedy. I mean, they come out and the man is dead. I mean, they, 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 they can be totally swallowed up by, by, by the past. I mean, look what we just did. And they could become heartbroken and they could uh, totally be, be, be wiped out. But the godless of Rabbi Yechon Shlokesh was that they knew that correcting the past, that's a very important issue, but it has its time and place. A person has to be first and foremost responsible for what needs to be done now. And they said, listen, we weren't responsible in the past now. Let's be responsible in the present now. And let's do what needs to be done now and not focus on I would have, could have, should have, but let's do what we actually need to do right now. And they will most happen by the say. And it so happens that in this case, it turned out that by rising to the occasion and doing what needed to be done now, they found out that actually they did nothing wrong in the first place. As the Gemara says, that we should be thankful to the Ramoim because if not for the Ramoim, then we would be guilty for not giving tzedakah to anyone who asks. So it turned out that they didn't do an Avera at all. But the, but, but, but the, the key was that they understood that the that the, the focus needs to be the va'ato Yisroel mo Hashem aleikecho shoyel me'imoch. That even in the context of tshuva, the past doesn't come before the present, but the present comes before the past. First, you have to make sure that in the present you're living the way you should be living. You're doing what you need to do, and you and, and you're living up to 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 to. to what you ought to be, and only then can you reflect on the past and correct the past. You know, we say every night in Hashkiveinu, we say Vahoser Soton Milofonenu Umeacharenu. What is that supposed to mean? The Soton is in front of us and behind us, 
Maybe he's on the side. What, 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 what exactly is the Satan Milfanenu Miacharenu? So it could be, it could be that, you know, because I'll say that the Satan is the Yetzahara. Now, the Yetzahara tries to get us to be focused on Vilfanenu. What's going to be? What's going to be in the future? In other words, when one wants to do tshuva, he says, listen, you know, how long is it going to last? How are you going to hold on to it? I mean, you really have no hope. And that's the Sutton of Milfanenu that goes ahead of us and says, hey, listen, look at the future. I mean, the future, it, 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 it's not going to happen. And there's the Sutton of Meacharenu that says, look at your past. I mean, look what you are. I mean, you're not worthy and you're not capable. And 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 therefore, I mean, you're, we're held back by our acharenu, and that's why we say v'hoser satan milafanenu umiacharenu. Remove the satan from behind us, from in front of us. Allow us to be in the now, not in the lefanenu, not in the acharenu. Let's focus on the here and now, and do what needs to be done now, and do do what needs to be done now. And and you know, by by the chet eitzadas. It says, Vayoyme, Hodom, Haisha, Asheno Sato, Imodi, He, Nosno, Li, Minho, Eats, Vo, Oichel. She gave me from the tree and I ate. But Chazal say, on the word Vo Oichel, the Midrash says, Ochalti, Vo Oichel Oid. I ate and I will eat more. This is the Kapella, the Marishan was so rebellious. I mean, he's saying against the Rebbe Shalom when he was. He now realizes Lachara, the great sin that he did. So he, he responds by saying, I ate and I will continue to eat. Lachara, he just gave an, an apology that she gave me. So, so he really didn't want to do it. So why is he saying, in, his, uh, in the pre tzaddik in, in the, his Joshis on Shabbos Shuva, says that the Vaoichal Oid, is not being said as a rebellious statement, but it's being said as uh, in Yush, in despair, he says, listen, Achalti, look, I failed. And uh, I'm a failure. I failed once, and I'll fail again. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just a failure. So he said, Achalti I mean, how he felt he can't do tshuva. He felt that he can't overcome, he can't rise above his past. He didn't believe that he could open a new page. And that's the Vahaseh Sotan Milifonenu Umeacharenu. And that's why in the Rabbi Shalom's response, he actually says, Va'ato pen yoichal. And as Chazal say, Ein va'ato elo tshuva. In other words, that the key to tshuva is to know that your ato is not governed by your pist. The va'ato is fully dependent on what you choose to do right now. And what happened, happened. It needs to be corrected, but that will be the next step. You know, in last week's parsha, it says, "Vayitzavenu Hashem." Lase says, "Kol achukim oela liyiro es Hashem aloykenu l'toiv lonu l'chayoyseinu kahayoyim hazeh." Like this day. What does it mean? Like this day. Kahayoyim hazeh. So maybe based on the above, we can say, you know, in parshas Vayeshev. It says, by he, by, by Yosef with the Ashes by Tifar, it says, by he, Kahayoy Maze, by Yovoy Habaiso, Lasis Mulachto, the ain ish me anchi abayis shom, the ain ish me anchi abayis shom babayis, says Rashi. What's the by he, Kayoy Maze, by he, Kasher he gia yoy me yucho, yoim age shellohem, Shaholhu Kulon the base of a desor. Omro, there's no better opportunity than today. Today is a day of opportunity. So I say a yid needs to feel, as far as Torah Mitzvah is concerned, that it's kayoim There's no day that's more appropriate than today. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. It's kayoim Today is the best day to do it, and 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 don't don't focus on the past, don't focus on the future. That's the idea. I want to share with you an interesting word that it says in the Yetev Lev that really connects with this because the, you know there's a pasuk in in, in Tilim 
the Pasuk in Tillam, Kapitel Yud, that says, Ki Hillel Rosho Al Tavas Nafshoim Uveitzea Berech Niyetz Hashem Pashtis, the Pasuk is uh, saying that the Rosha, he praises the Rabbi Shalom for allowing him to uh, to uh, realize his tithes. But the Rabbi Rebzisha types like this. The Gemara says in Shabbos, Daflamid, La'oilam yehei odom an v'son kehile. A person should be an onov like Hillel. So Hillel is the symbol of anivis. Now, anivis is a very important thing. However, not always. Sometimes there's uh, what Svarim HaKadoshim call an anova psula. An anova that's misplaced. Sometimes a person you know, says, you know, who am I? What am I? I mean, to do this mitzvah. It's beyond me. It's above my madrega. Sometimes a person uh, has a Yetzirah to do an Avera. The Yetzirah tells him, I mean, it's it's wrong. It's inappropriate. But he says, listen, I'm, uh, I'm not on the madrega of holding back from this Avera. I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not, I, I, I'm not on the madrega. I'm not up to it. It's not, I can't do it. So that's another, a misplaced another. So says the Rebbe Rebbe Zishiki, Hillel Rosha al Tavas Nafshe. Then when it comes to, to doing your Tavis, even a Rosha is willing to be a Hillel. Ki Hillel Rosha al Tavas Nafshe. Even a Rosha is willing to be an Anvison Ki Hillel al Tavas Nafshe. So says the Yet of Lev that Va'ato Yisroel Mo Hashem Olekech Hashem Me'imoch. That Mo, you know, is another because Venachnu Mo, Vaato Yisro, Mo, Hashem Olekech Hashem Imoch is asking of you to be Mo, to be an onof. However, Ki Im Liyiro as Hashem Olekech, only if it's going to contribute to Yiras Shemayim Laovdei B'Chol Avavchem. Only if it's going to contribute, it's going to be Mazaris you to be Mekayim Mitzvahs on a higher level, and because you're going to feel Mitoichir Anova that you need to do more. But if chas v'sholem, it's going to bring you down, then I don't want that more. In other words, v'ato yisro mo Hashem al-kech Hashem imach kim liyura. Now, you know, the Rambam says in the beginning of Ochaz Shuvah, and I mean, maybe it's in Perik Beis, that midayke at Shuvah is to be an anvison u'shval ruach. Since v'ato yisro is like the Medrash says, that v'ato is a lush in Shuvah, so it's immediately qualified with the Mo Hashem Olekech Hashem Olekech that HaKadosh Baruch was asking for Anova. But Ki Im Liyira. Only if that Anova is going to empower you and going to bring you to the next Madrege in Avoidus Hashem. But if that Anova is going to paralyze you and going to set you back, then that Anova is counterproductive. You know that in the um, no, the beginning of the Sefer Atanya deals with this theory, which Bamsa already op- appears in the uh, Rabbeinu Yoyne, that at one the, on one hand Chazal tell us va'al tehi rosha b'fnei atzmecho, one should not consider himself a rosha. On the other hand, Chazal say that afilu kol ha'olam kuloi oyrim l'chatzadik ato heyei be'inecha k'rosha. So should a person consider himself a rosha? Or should a person not consider himself a Roshan? So the whole first Chalik of the Tanya is based on this question, that there's two, two meanings to being a Roshan. But in the Sefer Yismach Yisro, from the Alexander Rebbe, he says that the, the difference between these two Mamorim is that when people are telling you that you're a Tzadik, then you should consider yourself a Rosh. But Altihi Rosha Bafne Atzmacha, when you're alone and lonely and down and out, then Altihi Rosha Bafne Atzmacha. When a person is Bafne Atzmacha, then he has to lift himself up. Then he has to tell himself that he's not a Rosh. But when everybody's telling you that you're a tzaddik, then you should tell yourself that you're a Rosh. So the, 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 the point is that uh, there's a balance and a person has to know where to apply what. And what to apply when? Because uh, if we just follow one line, so uh, we have the, the, there's always a chash that we shall use it 
in the wrong place. We can become Chatz Vishol in the Hillel, Russia, Altava, Snapshe, and we want to be uh, Anvis on Kehillel. Anyway, there are a bunch of Shalom is all healthy, that we should be Zoyche to tune in to the spirit of El and make it meaningful. And we should be Zoyche to Ksivach Simatoiva. Rabbi Say, I wish you all a good Shabbos.